Now, just hours after North Korea's launches, President Moon Jae-in issued a warning to the North. If such behavior continues, efforts towards dialogue could be thrown into jeopardy. Not only that, if the latest missiles are confirmed to be ballistic missiles, he said it may even constitute a violation of UN Security Council resolutions. Shin Se-min with the details. Topping the agenda for President Moon Jae-in's first TV interview with a local broadcaster, North Korea's apparent missile launch on Thursday, an escalation from the regime's previous weapons test five days earlier. He said Seoul and Washington believe the North fired what appear to be short-range missiles. The president added it might constitute a violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions, which prohibits the regime from using ballistic missile technology. And the South Korean leader had a clear warning to North Korea after an eventful few days of military activity. Uh, President Boon also said the launches were the North's way of showing its discontent that the second North Korea U.S. summit in February ended with no deal. On the issue of sending humanitarian food aid to North Korea, the president floated the idea of sending rice to the north, saying South Korea has a huge amount of rice just sitting in stockpiles. And for that, he urged South Korea's political parties to strike an agreement and stand behind the plan. The president also repeatedly stressed that his administration's plan to send food aid to North Korea had been fully supported by U.S. President Donald Trump. Reminiscing on that moment when the leaders of the two Koreas held that private conversation on the blue painted footbridge at the border village of Panmunjom last year, President Boon added that he plans to actively engage the North for another summit meeting in the near future, something that could serve as the catalyst to breaking these current impasse on the nuclear negotiations. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.